Welcome. Welcome to Eric Khan Academy. Today I wanted to talk about valves. The type of valves that you're going to find in a condensing unit. The type of valves that when you look at the outdoor unit, you have your motor here, like this, your condenser fan motor. Here on this side you're going to have two pipes that come out. There's going to be a valve here and there's going to be another valve there. One for the liquid line and then the other one is going to be for the suction line like this. They have valves on there. Some of these valves they're going to be either just open or closed. Yes, you can throttle them but they really only have two positions. Then you have the other ones, the other valves that have three positions on them. Three positions. So what I wanted to talk about was basically what is inside of these valves because it is important mm -hmm. to know what's inside of them. Inside here we're going to have refrigerant coming in like this and your refrigerant is going to be going out. There's going to be a stem up here which is what you're going to turn to open or close the valve. Now inside of the valve you're going to have a seat here so that now when you open and close this valve this is going to rise or is going to fall. It's, once it falls, it comes down, then it's going to seal up this port. It's going to seal that opening so that now refrigerant cannot go in here, cannot go out to the system. So we have your condensing unit on this side, your pipes, your tubing over on the other side. Now, this would be the type of valve that only has <clears throat> two positions. All the way down, that's going to be closed, and then back up, it's going to be open. Then there is the other type that has two seats on it. it. has a seat on the bottom, a seat on top. So what we do is we can say that this is going to be front seated, and it's going to be back seated, because we pull it all the way back out. Now these valves work just like any other valves. One of the things that we learn when we start in this field is righty-tighty, Lefty Lucy. So now when you turn it to the right, then it's going to tighten it down, it's going to close it down. Turn it to the left, it's going to loosen it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we turn this one way and it's going to come down, close it up. We turn it the other way, it's going to come up and open it up. So this so far has the two positions. We talk about a third position, and that's the throttled position. Now, with this third position, it's going to be right off of this seat. So it's not really all the way down and it's not really all the way back up. The reason we have that is because on these, there will be an opening right there. And this is where your connection is going to be for your gauges. So we actually hook up our high side gauge or our low side gauge right here. So if this is all the way back, then you're going to isolate this and you're not going to get a reading. You won't be able to add refrigerant to it. If you have it all the way down, then there's not going to be any flow because you have stopped it right here. So again, this will be front seated, this will be back seated, and if it's just off of this, then that's going to be your mid position or your cracked. You want it to be cracked or you want it to be mid position so that we can get an actual pressure reading on your gauge right there. So now you have the two different kinds. The one that has only two positions, fully closed or fully open. And then you have this kind that has the three position, front seated, back seated, and then throttled or mid position so we can add refrigerant we can take pressure readings and service the system. Now, I hope this helped. This is how most of these valves operate. This is how most of these valves work when you have one of these condensing units. Or a lot of the service valves that you have, they still work the same way. Front seated, back seated, and throttle. Hope you like this video. And check my uh, webpage, airconacademy.com. Check it out on YouTube. I have other videos there. And please like it and join the group. Thank you.